The following program is rated TV MALV. It contains strong language and violence. It is intended only for mature audiences. A man named Jimmy, a.k.a. Cato, led the first war of the Gullah Wars. This was called the Stono Rebellion, or a.k.a. Cato's Conspiracy. On September 8th, 1739, Cato gathered up a little more than 20 slaves, and they all had a meeting near the Stono River in South Carolina. Cato specifically chose a Sunday because all of the white folks were at church and this was a day of rest for the slaves. So Cato knew the supervision that he normally had wasn't going to be around. I've said this probably a million times. We have never just accepted slavery and laid down. Never. We have always fought back. Make sure you go and watch my video about the Gullah Wars. During this meeting, the men were fired up and they were fed up. It was time to escape. Cato convinced them to break into a local gun shop owned by a man named Mr. Hutchinson. They break into the gun shop. They killed Mr. Hutchinson. They decapitated his body, cut his head off, and placed it on a pole outside. As they collected the weapons and they left, they all chanted, freedom, 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 or liberty, 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 liberty. Their next stop was at a plantation up the road. This plantation was owned by a man named Mr. Godfrey. They caught his ass lacking, killed him, his son, and his daughter. They all agreed that everybody is going to get it. Everybody is about to feel this pain. They didn't give a fuck if it was woman, man, son, daughter, dog, cat, everybody's getting it. They felt like after all the shit that we've been through, yeah, we got the guns now. We got the weapons now. They went to plantation to plantation, killing everything moving. Anybody white was getting slaughtered. Each plantation they destroyed, the slaves from that plantation joined the crew. They destroyed six plantations and now they were over 80 deep. They were heading to Florida because the Spanish promised freedom to any escaped slaves in Florida and also that's what the army was building. They marched, beat drums, held their weapons high and they held signs that read Liberty. Cato was a very literate slave. He can read very well. As the slave population grew, the South Carolina legislator passed an act called the Security Act. This required all white men to carry firearms and to gather even more arms. Cato was very aware of what was about to go down. And this is why he felt like it was time to strike and it was time to strike now. As they traveled, they killed more and more white people. Each plantation they went to, the victims were decapitated and placed their heads outside. Some of the plantations they stopped at, you had bitch niggas hiding their slave owners. They hid their masters so their masters wouldn't get killed. And some of these people they tried to get them to come along, but those slaves stayed back. The mob was around 80 deep, but they should have been around a few hundred deep if everybody would have joined. And had everybody joined in, 
they definitely could have made it to Florida where they would have had their freedom. There was one slave master that they did give a pass to. They didn't kill him. The reason they didn't kill him is because he never physically harmed his slaves. They ended up being spotted along their travel. A group of angry civilians, along with law enforcement, all grabbed their rifles and machetes and they captured the escapees. Some of them were sold back into slavery all across the Caribbean. The rest of them were killed, decapitated, and their heads were placed along the road. This rebellion may have been short-lived, but it was the spark that was needed to kick off the Gullah Wars. The war that lasted for 119 years. The longest rebellion of all time. This right here is what gave many people the mindset of either give us our freedom or we'll take it. Either we'll take our freedom or we'll die trying. It's freedom or death. Make sure you go and watch my video about the Gullah Wars. Please hit the thumbs up on the History With No Chaser Facebook page. Please follow the Instagram page. And also subscribe to the kids channel. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe and let me know what you think in the comment section.